and we're flying. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Thanks for joining in. How am I so good as KSP? Uh, well, I played about three and a half thousand hours of that game, so practice makes perfect, kind of. What should we build, dear chat people? Should we build a flying rover or should we build a Christmas sled for Santa Claus? What do you think? I think it's going to be a flying Christmas rover plane sled. Let's start with something simple. Well, that's not how sled looks like, do, does it? Uh, where I live, Santa Claus doesn't come. We have something else. It's called the Christkind. Oh, we, we said we made an SRB powered one, didn't we? Why not use two, huh? That looks okay. So let's make the undercarriage first. So, if I start singing Christmas songs, please stop me. Please don't leave the stream, but please tell me that I shouldn't do that. Doing what am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing here? What's the meaning of life? All right. So could this become a sled? Well, maybe. What we're doing for aerodynamics? <clears throat> Not so good, probably. I'm just doing this off the top of my head. I'm just really just meshing parts together and seeing what sticks. But oh, we need something for the for the guys to sit on, don't we? What's the thrust to weight ratio over here? Thrust to weight ratio of seven. I think that's enough power. But then again, there is never enough power. Well, this is going to be an interesting ride. Hey, why are we going left? <laughs> Okay, well, I think Christmas is cancelled for this year. I think we can do better. Works as intended, doesn't it? Looks a bit better. Still not convinced about... about how it's going to slide along... runway. Let's try that out. Why am I using the throttle? I'm just using SRBs. Oh, well. Oh, we're going straight. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Something kind of exploded. Let's make it a bit more sleddy. Yes, sleddy is now a word. Please contact the Thesaurus Association and make them edit. Oh well, just looks a bit more like a sled, no does it? So, let's see if those I-beams can do a bit better. <laughs> okay, ah, okay, I think I know what the problem is. And later on, yes, we're going to add more boosters. Math is important. Okay, that didn't work out. I think this is going to be really twitchy now. But we're going to add some mass up front, so don't worry. Oh, it's flying, it's flying. Hey, it's totally flying! <laughs> Hey, a bit spinny, but that's okay. That's okay. The majority of it survived, <laughs> but we need a reindeer. That's a big reindeer. That would be an elk. So we don't want to decouple those. It would only lead to pain and suffering. So we want to do some reindeers. Those are very communicative reindeers. Those could be the antlers. One of them gets a red light. 
Communica deers. Okay, and of course those reindeers have to help us. And they need some propulsion. I think this this is an appropriate place for an exhaust. So basically depending on the diet of the reindeer, it depends on how fast it's going to fly. Let's see how fast we can go before the antennas break. Okay, are you ready? Three, two, one, go! Hey! Well, that was a bit underwhelming. Let's add an engine. Okay, what could be an appropriately misused part for a leg? That looks more like an antler. All right. Uh, leg, yeah, correct. Somebody said landing leg on as a leg. Why not? You're absolutely right. I think this looks better. What do you think? Boom! Yes! And we're flying! <laughs> there you go! Move, you little rascals! Ooh, and we're going down. This is going to be a wet landing for Rudolf. Rudolf is going to get a wet nose. And... Well, there's only one thing, th thing to do. Again! Going to use the tried and true KSP method of more boosters. Winged reindeers? Why not? <laughs> so Rudolf does not only have a red nose, he also has a wing. Okay, fly away little reindeers. I think we have enough power now. Enough jet power. Whoa, 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 what's happening? Please lift. Just a little. Just a little. Just a little. Just a little. Please lift. Please lift. Please lift. Please. Lift. Ah. Damn. Alright, once again we're going to try to launch the sled, the shadow sled. Oops, now you go upwards. Let's try this. Okay, how are the engines working? At least two of them are clear. And those two should be clearer than before. Ah, but we're still losing velocity quickly. Oh well, we're still going. I think this is the furthest that we've come so far. Whoops, whoops, oops, 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 and... Yeah. Well, that went well. Oh, they're still going. <laughs> They're still going. <laughs> okay. What's your problem? Oh, they don't have enough air intake. Okay, we're going deeper. Let's see how far underwater we can get with this. And well, only one engine is running at the moment. Because we don't have enough air intake. Underwater. Unexpected submarine indeed. <laughs> Where is the ground? I can't see the ground. I can't see the air. We're just in the deep blue something. We're going deeper underground. There's so much panic underground. Is that the floor? Are we going now to hit the rock but or are we we're overtaking the parts that we've lost <laughs> okay this is interesting 
Fish need, need presents too. You're absolutely correct, Ben. Oh, now we have some ground. Whoa! <laughs> that was unexpected. <laughs> <laughs> wow! Hey, the probe core is still alive. <laughs> the kraken is now underground. We have found the seafloor kraken. This was fun. Okay, let's let's do something a bit more drastic. A bit much. <laughs> Pretty sure this is going to go well. This is going to go really well. Let's make those a bit more ski. There we go. Those are nice skis, aren't they? Okay, the shadow sled, let's call it the shadow sled. Mark Madness. Let's try it out. Three, two, one, let the madness begin. All right, this is actually more stable than I would have expected. <laughs> Boom, we have now passed the speed of sound. And a sled with reindeers. Let's actually try this out and open the antenna. Oh, the game does not allow me to open the antenna because it would destroy the part. Mark 2, and now it's gone. Okay, those puny little Juno engines don't have enough anything to do anything. And I have no control over this because I no longer have electricity. So let's see what's going to happen. Well, I'm pretty sure I know what's going to happen. Here we now have control back over our engines. And since we now have power, we also have control over the probe core. Let's see, can we hit the runway over there? It sure looks nice. I would ride that for winter, wouldn't you? Oh, we're going in too fast, I think. Okay, so that was not a success. I'm afraid I have some bad news. The bad news is that uh, where I live currently it's half past 11 p.m. and I need to get up in six and a half hours tomorrow for work and other things. <laughs> So, as fun as this has been, and I really enjoyed it, and I hope you did too, I'm going to have to leave you now. Very sorry about that. And I hope we can pick this up again sometime. It's been fun, it's been great. Thank you very much. Have a great evening, night, morning, day, or whatever you're going to do in the next hours. So, as always, thanks for watching. Goodbye.